You've got yeah. the hooks and holes, hooks and holes. Hooks and holes, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. and so, you know, what's your next act? You talked about interfacing with security, but I mean, how do you help these people manage security? And you know, what do you, what do, you do tomorrow? Uh, or what have you told your investors you're doing tomorrow? Sure, well, I mean, look, you know, what we see is as people start adopting Docker, it comes in pretty organically. Um, uh, you know, inevitably they've got, you know, more developers, they're running more containers, they're decomposing uh, their applications into large numbers of containers, they want to run it in multiple different places, uh, they want to deal with more sensitive applications, they want to deal with legacy applications, so there's a, you know, there's a lot that we are doing and continue to do around areas like security and networking and auditability uh, and uh, updating applications, but the, you know, the, the nirvana that we want to get to is where, or our customers want to get to, is where, you know, instead of these you know, big complicated applications where you've got 10,000 vulnerabilities that you can't fix because you can't change one thing without messing up other things and where you're locked into a particular infrastructure and you can't change that infrastructure without going through a, uh, you know, year-long process where essentially every application is built out of sort of the equivalent of Legos, right, that can be deployed anywhere. You know where every Lego came from, you know uh, what it does, you know where it's running, you know how well it's running, and you can move it uh, around any set of infrastructures, whether they're legacy or cloud or, or something of that nature. And so um, there's a whole set of work for us to do. You know, we, we can, you know, replicate in the next two years, essentially what 15 years worth of work went into the virtualization uh, technologies of, uh, you know, in the previous generation. Um, and then there are other exciting things that uh, we're doing around making containers extra, extra small so that you almost, you almost don't need an, an operating system anymore. You just have a small microkernel. Yeah, we were talking about, mm -hmm. I mean, the ways that mm -hmm. essentially now we're letting software extend Moore's law, right? You've right. got multiple applications running on, right. you know, the Raspberry Pi, right. you know, $5 computer. Yeah, so you know, if we've seen people run 10,000 containers on a Raspberry Pi which is outstanding, you know, astounding, right? Um, uh, you know, we've been able to orchestrate uh, the creation of, uh, you know, a thousand nodes that get spun up uh, quickly. You can deploy 50,000 containers across them and have each one spin up and spin down in, you know, less than half a second, right? And this is sort of, you know, Moore's law on, on steroids because people are getting uh, orders of magnitude improvement in how they get value out of their infrastructure, but I think, that, even that pales in comparison to the kinds of uh, gains that you get when you are able to unleash the power of developers and suddenly things that used to take weeks take, take minutes.